So, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how we do a safe isolation on a single phase consumer unit. So, we have um, our main uh, switch or isolator with a number of circuit breakers. So, at the moment, the installation is energised. Um, so, first of all, when we turn off an installation, rather than stress the main switch, we're going to turn off the individual breakers to each load and then we turn off the main switch. Then we need to prove uh, that this is isolated. Before doing so, I'm going to lock off that device um, so it can't be turned on without our permission. Now, lock off devices come in a number of uh, shapes and sizes. We have here a smaller device to suit this type of isolator. So this is using a, a grub screw. So we put the grub screw over the main switch. Just screw that on there, like so. This will prevent the uh, lever of the isolator being operated. So that's screwed into place, so now we can't operate that device. We now need to put a, a lock on there to prevent anybody trying to remove that so without our permission. So we uh, place our lock through there and lock that. The key we must keep about our person so nobody else can use that again without our permission. So I'm going to put that in my pocket. Uh, we've also got a tag there um, to say that uh, it shouldn't be operated. Our details could also go on the back in case we leave site and somebody needs to contact us. So we've locked off, tagged out. Now we need to prove that the installation is actually isolated. To do that, we need an approved voltage indicator. This device uh, is a simple device for one function only to prove whether there's a voltage present or not. The device itself complies with the HSE guidance document, GS38. In fact, it has the retractable probes uh, so that the probe tips don't exceed any more than four millimeters. We have the finger guards, the fused probe, and the uh, double insulated lead. And here with the Martindale device that we're using here, a simple indication of the approximate voltage, if there is any. Now we need to prove, first of all, we do a, a visual check that it's safe to use and complies with GS38. Then we need to prove that the device works. So I'm going to use a proving unit, uh, again a Martindale proving unit. Uh, we simply put the probes on the device and see that it lights up and then we can see that the device is operational. So we know it's working, it's safe to use, it complies with requirements. We now need to prove that the installation is isolated. So we now move to the insulated side of the isolator, sorry, the isolated side. So we simply put the probes across the line. So again, uh, good practice says we go on the zero volt, which it would be the neutral, and then onto the live and check that that doesn't light up, which it doesn't. So we tested live to neutral. We can then test neutral to earth, doesn't light up. Um, and then we check the live to earth. And that's all combinations proven. So none of those combinations uh, has lit up the voltage indicator, so we know that's that's isolated. However, this may have failed in the meantime. So as a final check, we need to prove the device is still operational and so it is. So now we know that that installation is safely isolated and safe to work on uh, as dead.